So she's pulled it from the bottom of the roll up here and she's now ready to put it through the laminator. So what she's gonna do is just push with her foot pedal to push that the existing piece through and get this one lined up to go start going through. So you wanna stop there? Stop, stop right there. So we so that last piece just went underneath that roller. So you wanna line this up right to the edge. Um, so you wanna move it over this way a little bit so that you're in line there and there. Oh yeah, okay. And then push it in. And so you got it all pushed in? Yeah. Okay, and then just hit your foot pedal a little bit. Just so it starts kicking out this back side. And then once it gets out here, uh, then just stop over there. Yep, and then come over here. So this is where the the last time it got stuck on here because there was a little gap between here. Oh, and, and it, it started was going in. Sticky and it started going down there. So this that's where you would stop and just come and check right oh. away to see if it's um, good or if it's not good. And then she can now start rolling that piece. Yep, and then she's gonna hit this up button. And she's going to roll it as the machine is automatically laminating. So the next thing she has to pay attention to is this gap over here. So she'll have to hold it to bring this gap back down as she's laminating. So there's a few things you gotta pay attention to while you're laminating. So that, that distance, and then as well as if your um, laminate is going off the side of your print. But as of right now, it looks like she's pretty good, pretty straight. And then she's just rolling it as it's going through. If she wants, she can turn the speed up a little bit. So it goes a little faster. But as soon as she turns the speed up over here, she's going to have to pay attention to this a little bit more because it's going to go up faster. So you're just going to have to hold it and put it down. Um, normally, you're, you should be able to tighten this and it would tighten this so that it doesn't do that as much. But our springs are pooch, so you have to pay attention to this distance. And you also don't want this to go underneath there because it can um, wreck your print as well. You can't get it out of there. If she is going crooked at any point, she could stop, uh, since this is the last part of this print, she could stop the print about right here. Uh, once this gets to about here, right there, she could stop it and cut it off and then restart the next piece. So the next piece is coming through. It's not going crooked? Nope, you're good. Okay. So she's gonna laminate the rest of that.